Hi and welcome to Craft with Hayley. Today's card I'm going to show you how to um, make this lovely effect with the flower head. Um, it's called Stained Glass Window Technique um, and I'm going to show you how to make that today. It's using some of our new stamps um, and the new stamp is called You've Got This. It comes in two parts, the lovely big background stamp, fabulous large flower and then three greetings. So without further ado, let's get on. I'm going to grab my Whisper White layer. Um, and I'm then going to grab the big background stamp. I'm just going to ink it up with mint macaron. Now this is quite fabulous colour. Now I don't want it to be too dark because I want the flower to really stand out. So I'm just going to lightly stamp it off and then I'm going to stamp my second generation to give it a bit of a um, more subtle effect I suppose is the word isn't it. So yeah. Next I'm going to grab my flower and I'm going to ink my flower up with my stays on. Um, Stays on is great because obviously you get a really crisp, clear image, which is lovely. I'm just going to put it slightly to one side. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to ink up my flower again. And this time I'm going to ink it up and add it to a piece of vellum. Okay, and I'm hoping that piece is big enough. It looks like it will be. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp it onto my vellum. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat emboss that. So I'm just going to add some clear embossing powder over the top. Okay. And I'm just going to very quickly heat that. Okay, so I've just given it a nice little shake off onto my carpet. Um, and here we go. So I'm not left-handed, so bear with me. It just worked better for the camera because my plug's on that side. Oops, you can see my mist stamp there, I'll just put my finger over it in a minute. Okay, so all I'm then going to do is to get the lovely effect is I'm going to turn my card, um, my vellum over and I'm going to colour it in from behind. Um, now I did a pink one earlier so I thought maybe we would have a go at a yellow one this time. So I'm going to start in the middle, do nice and strong, delightful Dijon in the middle, um, which is lovely and then I'm just going to start colouring it. Now because we're on vellum, vellum is really good at blending colours which is lovely so I don't need to necessarily colour it too carefully because what I can do in a minute is take my blender pen which will allow me to spread the colour around a little bit which is quite fab so you can see already I'm yeah just adding a little bit of colour rather than anything too drastic. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab my blender pen in circular motions. I'm just going to blend those colours together. Um, okay, and I must remember to keep talking to you because when I colour, I tend to forget. I stick my tongue out. How many of you do that? Was it just me? Um, okay, so I'm just, like I say, circular motions. I'm just blending those colours and obviously giving a bit paler in some areas. Bit darker in other areas. I'm just going to take that colour. I want it nice and pale up here. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason I think the sun's going to hit it up there a lot paler than it's hitting it anywhere else. Um, and it's my it's my flower, so it, I'm allowed. That's allowed. Um, okay, so I'm just getting that colour up to the top, just spreading it up as we go. Okay, so there we go. That's my colour. So when you turn it over, can you see what a difference that makes and how pretty that is? So all I'm then going to do is I'm going to fussy cut that out. So I'm going to grab my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut that. And here's one I did earlier to save you watching me cut because that's not good. Um, so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to add it with my glue dots because because the um, vellum has been coloured, you can't see it. So I'm literally just going to add some glue dots to the back um, and then I'm going to add that flower to the flower that is already there okay and as long as you line it up well it looks good otherwise it looks like you've kind of misstamped it so that's added there okay what I'm now going to do is I'm going to colour in my stalk and my leaf um, just to make it stand out a bit more and again you can take your time colouring um, as accurately as you want. You might love colouring 
Um, for those of you that know me well will know I like quick and simple and easy things. So for me, this is quite good. This is about as much as I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just going to then add my greeting. Um, and I love the greeting that says good things are going to happen. Because why not? Let's have all of that attitude. What a fabulous attitude that would be. Good things going to happen. Okay, so that's on there. So all I'm then going to do is add it to my card blank and then I will finish it. So let's turn that over. A little bit of snail. I do love my snail. And then we're going to line that up on the card. And there we go. That's my card finished. And I'll just bring back the pink version as well so you can see which colour you prefer. So there we go. It's a little pink and a little green version. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe so you can see all the new cards that I make as I come along. And do pop over and visit me on my blog, www.craftwithhayley.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.